Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Charlotte and I am a fourth grade science and social studies teacher in Central Arizona. So today is day four of classroom setup. <laughs> I'm such a silly goose. Yesterday I came in and I had totally left my memory card and my computer at home, so I didn't really film a ton of what happened yesterday, but I did get quite a few clips on my phone, so I'm gonna insert those right here. Uh, my dad helped me bring a few things up that we brought from home, and one of those things is the rat cage. So this is the big Bertha in all of her glory. She is absolutely huge, but one of the reasons why I have such a big cage is because I do have two rats now, and I will not be bringing them home on the weekends anymore. I will only be bringing them home for longer period breaks, so fall break, spring break, winter break is when they'll come home. Um, so I did keep one of the smaller cages at home, but this is going to be their home here at school. They're going to be here on the weekends, so I did invest in a larger cage. Um, I absolutely have fallen in love with having rats as class pets and I will always have rats as class pets because they're just so easy low maintenance anyway this is the critter nation huge af <laughs> rat cage they love it I love it I have all the cleaning supplies and food and everything down there ready for their arrival I'll probably bring them in tomorrow but okay so what's on the to-do list today? Today is going to be boards. So I did cut out letters for bulletin boards and then my mom is probably gonna come in in the afternoon and start tracing out the magic school bus because I am gonna be doing a magic school bus board. I do need to print those letters and I am gonna be doing some laminating today. So I do have a little workstation set up over here that I do need to get kind of like figured out and set up ready for projects. And then one of my students from last year, I have made friends with the family and she's come over and played with Cash a few times in the summer. She's going to be coming by today to help with little projects. Um, I'm going to have her doing glue sponges and I'm going to have her doing some laminating. So that's what little Hanny's going to be doing today. And then possibly if Amanda comes in, Mandy, um, she might go down and help with her library as well. So if you guys have not seen parts one through three, this is the current state of my classroom. If you've been keeping up, I mentioned putting up my classroom rules. These are by Josie Bensko. I love that they're songs and I actually do an activity with them at the beginning of the year. So I do need to cover them with black letters or black paper so that they can't be seen until I want them to be seen. <laughs> And then I do have tables and stools. So I'm still waiting on four more, but right now my numbers are 24, 24, 25. So I technically have enough stools for 26. So I'm good on stools for now. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna get started. I'll show you guys what I brought today. I brought this computer because it has my Cricut design space on it. And then, so my parents, brought me this huge bucket full of like my old schoolwork stuff and I found my fourth grade report card so I just brought it in to show my students one day like if we're having a struggle moment and like we need to talk about effort and how like you know I don't know I don't know what I was thinking but I thought it would be fun to just bring it in and just share um my report card with my students if that ever needed to be something that happened. And then, okay, let's see. I have my meet the teacher thing. So I'm gonna make copies of that. And then my planner that I bought starts in August. So I printed out a couple of lesson plan pages just that I downloaded. Um, these I need to laminate. These are my cross cutting concept concepts. Wow, I can't speak today. And I was thinking I would laminate those and then I would tape them to the board under the map here so that they're always posted in the room because I really only use like that side of the board. Um, so I think I'm going to just post them here. And then 
I made the large version of all of the supplies that my students will use throughout the week. I'm gonna laminate these and then glue some magnets on the back so that I can put them up on the board and every day just pull what they need over to the side. And then when they come in, they'll already know what they're gonna need to take out. So I have those. And then these are the letters that are gonna go on my board that I'm gonna make right now. It says science is like magic but real. So I'm going to hang that right now. I do need to print out some like clip art to go on it. Um, and then what else did I bring? I cut out these put a finger down cards that I need to punch holes in and put a binder clip through. I might even laminate these just so that I have them. These are by Teaching with Sparkle. She actually teaches at a school like 10 minutes from me. Um, and then these need to be laminated and cut out. So Hannah's gonna be doing quite a bit of laminating today. Once I teach her how to do it, she'll be able to laminate quite a few things. I'm actually gonna just put all of the things that need to be laminated in this bucket. And then when she gets here, we can do that. Okay, so something that I always do before I hang up a bulletin board is I lay out everything that's gonna go on it, kind of just in front of the board to make sure everything fits. And then I start building from the middle of the board out. So I'll show you exactly what that looks like. printing out real again but with colorful letters kind of like up there so I might do like green yellow orange and purple instead of blue again so other than that I really do like the board so I'm gonna actually staple the letters down so that they're flush with the wall because right now they only have the one staple in them and then I will go ahead and reprint this letter or this word okay so I definitely like the real better way now that it's different color. So now I'm gonna take a black marker and just color in the middle of these real quick. And then I think I might cut out a couple of little like science clip arts, like maybe a beaker or like a magnifying glass or something cute just to put like in this empty space. And then this board's done. guys so we'll cut these out we'll put some magnets on the back and then those will go up on the board and then when Hannah gets here she's gonna finish laminating everything that's in this blue box and then she's also gonna make the glue sponges what I'm gonna do is sit down and start making things to put in the Cricut so I think instead of trying to cut out all the words for my magic school bus board I'm just going to use my Cricut and do it. Um, so I do have plenty of white cardstock right here. So um, what I am going to do 
Am I gonna use white letters? I'm not sure yet, I think I need to decide. I do have plenty of black cardstock as well, so I might be putting this on black cardstock. Actually, I probably end up, will end up putting it on black cardstock. So I'll just print the words out on my Cricut and then I will head outside and try to start working on that wall. My mom is gonna be tracing the Magic School Bus on this yellow piece of paper. I have a little mini projector, so I'll put the paper up on the board here. She can trace it, and then we will put that out on the board. So I'm gonna go ahead and mess around in the Cricut design space, and then I'll check in with you guys as soon as I'm done with that. just realized that I made a mistake when purchasing glue sponge containers and I bought the wrong one. So I think we're gonna cut these sponges in half, which is fine because now two people can use them. I feel so silly. Okay. Well, we'll make it happen. All right, Hanny Banan just doing glue sponges. We finished the welcome back letters. And I just finished drawing the school bus. So now I just need to fill in the black in the middle. This is done. And then kind of like paint it or color it, I guess. So we're gonna do that next. Okay, so I'm hanging up my hall board. And I know this is already like, not smooth. <laughs> I'll probably fix that. But I wanted to show you a little tricky trick that I use for cutting correctly. Just take your fingernail. Slide it along the bottom. Like this. It doesn't matter if you have like nails or not. As long as you have a fingernail, this will work. So, precise. Slide it across the bottom. That'll be covered by a border. And that's how you do it. You can see the mess, but the turning point that I'm talking about is the point where the room becomes a mess again. <laughs> So I'm gonna take you guys around and show you all the things we've been doing. Okay, so I'm currently cutting out my look at what we're learning today thing. It's gonna go with my little eyeballs. We cut out the table labels. These are really cool. They're like an iridescent, like mermaid unicorn kind of thing. So they look really cool. And then I made the magic school bus, which I'll show you in a second. Here's a mess. <laughs> I cut out and put magnets on the back of my little supplies. So these guys will live at the bottom of the board and then every day, depending on what the kids need, I will drag them up and have them there. I might even put a today you need with vinyl. I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna like that. So we'll see. And then um, Hannah made glue sponges and I'm such a dodo bird. I totally bought the two. <laughs> container ones. So we just cut them in half and did it like that anyway, so it'll be fine. I need to hang this tomorrow. And what else did we do? Um, yeah, this is kind of a mess. We laminated a bunch of stuff. This is my scientific method board, so I just have to cut out the letters, which I'll probably do tonight while I watch TV. We laminated these. These are my concept, uh, cross-cutting concepts. Look at that mess. And then out here, is my little magic school bus. I need to color in the other wheel. And then in here, I'm actually gonna put a picture of me and a picture of both of my rats in the bus. I might even put Mr. Cummings and Sheila in there too. So anyway, that's what that looks like. And then it's gonna say 
welcome back. I'm still gonna make the little fire and it will say have a magical year at the bottom. And then I'm gonna do some stars and planets to on there as well, which I need to print tonight on colored ink. So that is what we've been up to. And so, like I said, we're kind of at a point where like the room is messy because of all of the projects that are going on. So tomorrow, Hannah and I will come in here and we'll just clean up all the mess. But for now, I'm just finishing up this project. So I'm gonna just unwrap this and then go put all of this up on the board. So today is day four of classroom setup. It is July 13th. And as you can see behind me, things are starting to come together. Um, the rats have made their entrance. They are here now. I was a little bit nervous about it because we've had some air conditioning issues. So I might bring them home with me today. I'm just not sure yet. I don't wanna leave them here and then the air conditioning turn off and then something happen to them. I do have a fan that I can plug in and point at them. But I don't know yet. We'll see how the day goes if there's any other air conditioning issues. But their room is all set up. Um, if you guys are new, this is Temple Tina down here, the black one. And then Peach is the white one up here. These are my class pets. So they have just moved in and are getting comfortable. Tina's been here before, but Peach has never been in the classroom. So I wanted to give her some time to acclimate to the environment. But there's, you know, quite the mess going on at this point. Uh, projects have been going. If you guys saw yesterday, I hung my science is real, um, like magic but real board. I need to print some clip art for this wall. I also need to hang this wall today, but not until I make my fire. So I need to make fire. And then yesterday before I left, I actually hung up my look at what we're learning today. I'm sure there's a flaw somewhere, but we're not gonna even go there because at this point, it's fine. <laughs> I also labeled my table tubs. And what else did we do? That's pretty much it. So, um, oh, and we drew the magic school bus, which I can show you right now. So I do need to finish coloring this and then I need to make the fire piece for the back and then I can hang the whole board and it will be done. I do want to print out a bitmoji of me and the rats to go in the bus. So they're riding in there with me. Okay, so those are the those are the projects that need to be done today. Honestly, the room is very close to being ready. Um, some of the things that are taking place at this point are more like organization things, like making labels, um, hanging up the last bits of decoration, and starting to think about meet the teacher night documents. So I did create my Meet the Teacher Night stuff. I just need to print it out, but I'm not finalizing it until after my staff meeting tomorrow because I'm sure there's going to be things that my principal wants us to add that if I start printing, I'm gonna be sorry. I'm gonna have to redo everything because I went too fast. So I think what I'm gonna do this morning is make my fire for my magic school bus so that I can hang that bulletin board and get this off of the floor. After that, I will start working on my little to-do list over there. And then there's a bulletin board that needs to be hung here. And I still need to print lots of clip art. So that is on the to-do list. So um, I'm gonna drink my little energy drink here cause I need it and I'm gonna get started. Cheers.
Okay guys, so I'm using my little Goatee, is that what it's called? Goody? <laughs> I forget. This little projector that I bought on Amazon a few years ago has come in real handy, especially now that I have a TV in my room and not a projector on the whiteboard. It makes it really difficult to draw or trace anything, so luckily I held on to this and I just plop it on my camera tripod and then I can pretty much trace anything that I need. Um, my flames are probably going to look terrible, but that's okay. We're going to make it work. flames. All right, so I'm going to go get all of the words and come out here and hang up the words and then this bulletin board is basically done. Okay, so there's a glare on this win window. There's a glare on this wall, but that's okay. Oh, Hannah spent, what, an hour and a half cutting out all these words, these letters. It's still a glare, it's the window, but it's okay. So we have the scientific method. That's done. Wow, I'm echoing. We labeled our ketchup folders. So these are going to be where Anything that gets put on the desk for a student who's absent, whoever sits here will put the extra pages in the ketchup folder and then when that kid returns the next day, they go right to the ketchup folder to get whatever it is that they missed the day before. What else did we do today? We labeled broken stools yesterday, that's important. We separated lots of magnets all these magnets. Hannah did that. She figured out that hand sanitizer will remove the hot glue from the back of magnets. You have to get a corner and then you put it underneath it. Yep. Let's scrape all these little pieces up. And then we got some things on the board ready. What else did we do? Oh, we hung these up. I made it look like a frog. Cross cutting concept. <laughs> Yep, these are all the magnets she separated. Uh, what else did we do? It's pretty much it. We didn't really do... I made some things that need to get printed. Like, these are all the um, agenda pages. Because they're going to have weekly agendas in their binders now. And then these are ready to be copied. Routines. And then these, I think I showed you guys yesterday. Cootie catchers. We're going to do that. What else did we do, Hannah? Nothing, really. That's kind of it. So, I think I think that's it for today. Uh, most of what's left is like printing out bitmojis, printing out some clip art, and then starting to make lists. I have to put uh, dojo invites together, import the student lists for those and then all that's left is to start planning for the first couple days Did you show the rest on the board I think so but let's take them over and show them the face that's in it now <laughs> I'm gonna say it fell <laughs> is it behind the bus now yep we lost her we lost her. It's okay, we gotta print a new one. So we're gonna put a bitmoji of me in this window, and then the rats are gonna go in this window. 
then I think maybe I should put like Mr. Cummings and Miss Frame here. That would be cute, huh? I still need to paint this white. That's okay. I can do it. I'm gonna put CCR right here yeah. for our school. So that looks really cute. You guys wanna see Miss Frame's classroom? Looks so good in here. It is hot. I think the heater's on. Isn't that cute? She's got a cactus theme. We got her little sitting area. I think this is where she's gonna hang up student work. And a library. That's cute. Yeah, she's crafty. She made her own little curtains. So cute. So this is um, Mrs. Frame, she's our ELA teacher. <laughs> Let's go see Mr. Cummings' room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the flame ended up really cute. Okay, ready for the, the magical <laughs> glimpse? Boom. He has not been here yet. <laughs> How hot is it? He will be here tomorrow though. It's not hot in here. This, see, now this is why I don't know if I want to leave the rats here tonight, because if my lights are off, this is how warm it's going to be. Mm, I think I'm going to take them home. So, this is Rob's room. He'll be in tomorrow for sure. Tomorrow's the first day that we are contracted to come back, so he will be here. Giant lizard. What does he do with that? I don't know. He just sits on top of his cabinet. Yeah, I like that ostrich. Hmm. Just sits there. Hmm. Well, it watches over us. Like Darth Vader, huh? Okay. Well, I guess then we'll just start packing up the girls, see if we can coerce them into coming out. And that will be the conclusion of today's classroom setup video. Tomorrow's video is probably going to be just some final touches, and then I think we're going to call it planning for the first week of school instead of classroom setup. I think that our setup is done. I think we're finished. So, uh, we do have to repair a few stools. This one but. is it's wobbly and it's shorter than the rest. Of yeah, us. that needs to be fixed for sure. Uh -huh. And if not, then it will be a special stool, <laughs> very special. Fair. So what we're missing is the computer cart, mm -hmm. and then a few things over there have to go next to it. Once I figure out how much space it's going to take up. We've one uh, yep, I think we're in pretty good shape it's looking good all right let's see if we can coerce these girls out and we'll get them oh look at them look at teeny's face <laughs> like what you're gonna wake me up mom i smell you mom All right, guys, so I'm gonna end the vlog there. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more from me, classroom videos, uh, vlogs, management. I got a dojo store video coming up, notebooks, and um, follow me on Instagram if you don't already. There's lots and lots of updating that goes on there. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!